in the back of my girlfriend's house, there's a mimosa tree that she saved from being cut down by a private company. She fought them after they cut down every other tree in her neighborhood's respective backyards to put in a parking lot nobody uses and saved just this one. The problem is there's one kid who always comes by and climbs, kicks, and breaks the branches off of it. How do we keep this guy from hurting the last green shade they've got, Anthony? Anthony, you can't own a tree. <laughs> Next question. <laughs> Listen, read the giving tree. That tree is stoked. Yeah. Okay? You can't interrupt the cycle of giving tree. Every tree Wait, has a boy. Do you think boy. the giving tree is happy to be kicked and heaven's branches? What is it giving at that point? I understand. Oh, uh, listen. Man. You need this more than... Ah, ah, f ah, fuck. God damn it. Okay. Yep. Nope. Yep. Damn nope. Kid. You're right. You're right. No, you're right. I deserve no. that. I brought it on myself. Here, have a mimosa. <laughs> have I, watched, a I watched Slavery Times and I didn't do anything. <laughs> I earned it. I could have spoken up. Yeah. Um, you can't own a tree. You got to let a tree do what a tree. I mean, you want shade from it. This kid wants to take out his preteen anger. Well, first like, of all, if you're saying we need to rescue this tree for shade, like build a house, you goober. <laughs> Houses are like all. Wait, are you a bird? They're all shade all the time. And that's pretty cool. <laughs> Um, why is there a kid that has a fucking vendetta against your tree? Because it's the only mm -hmm. tree in the neighborhood. The kid was able to get all the rest of them chopped down. The kid's a captain of industry, yeah. by the way. We did mention that. Um, Little tycoon. Here's the thing. The way that, like, uh, natural selection and evolution works is that as, you know, as new uh, enemies develop, the creatures develop defense mechanisms. If you protect this tree, you are robbing us of man-eating trees in 3,000 years. Yeah. Wow, that's that's true, Travis. That's a circle of life. Yeah, you gotta let these trees develop their own natural defenses. I think the circle of life terminates once there are man-eating trees. Because, mm -hmm. like, we need them. It is the ultimate catch-22. Because we need them to breathe, don't we? We can't just kill all of them, because then we're killing ourselves. That's true. Maybe it's harder to breathe in their neighborhood right now. Definitely mm. is. Maybe that's why this kid is losing his goddamn mind. <laughs> his kid's not hitting the tree. He's putting his mouth flush with the tree and just like. <gasps> <gasps> oh, it's He's so good. He's breaking the branches and sucking the oxygen straight out of it. Oh, it's so good right off the oh, tap. Mm. <laughs> um, child. Children. They're awful. God. They are just. Just the, the worst. Just terrible. Uh, and I'll, this is, I mean, I. The solution is right there. I didn't want to spoil the answer, but it's pretty obvious to me what you should do to keep the kid off the tree. When the kid climbs the tree, you climb the kid. No, you put some jelly on it. Oh, put God. some jelly on the tree, that one's... on the branches and on the trunk. He goes to like grab the tree or fuck with it, and he's going to come back with a fistful of tree jelly. What is this, he'll think. Do you mean sap? Then he'll can't, no tree jelly. He won't know about sap. He's too young. Oh, fair point. And but the, tree and jelly, he'll totally get the concept. He'll of. be yeah. well. He'll hey, Travis. He won't have to be Angela Lansbury. There's jelly on a tree. I didn't it's have tree jelly. Justin, I'm not the one who said he wouldn't understand the concept of sap. <laughs> Let me throw this out. Elaborate tree costume haunt the kid. Okay, but that's also like gross. You're gonna roll up to his house. You're gonna pound on his door late at night. He's gonna answer and say. I'm I'm a tree sprite, and you're gonna mm -hmm. teach him, you know, about like the beauty of trees. Travis, please a, end, a spriggan, please. Th okay, and then at the end of the night, kill him. <laughs> <laughs> Wait a minute. No, hold on. No, that's a perfect crime. <laughs> How many kids do you think die because of tree-related injuries every year? You can just write that one off. The detectives come. They're like, let me see, sap, a little bit of tree jelly around the window frame. Yeah, it looks like another tree. God damn it. Got another one. Well, we need him to live, so there's nothing really can really do about it. <laughs> trees. How scary is that scene in Poltergeist, by the way? When the tree kills the kid? He doesn't. I mean, that kid should be dead. Can we all agree about that? I always thought that that was sort of bullshit, that, the, that um, they just sort of, like, pull him out of the clutches of the tree, and he's like, no, nah, I'm all right. Like, that tree looked super scary, super deadly. It could have killed you, like, a hundred times over, and it didn't. Nice try, spirits. Put your back into it. 
kill a kid for once, why don't for you? For once.